The sea conditions were bad. Uh, we had waves the, the height of houses in over 30 feet in height. Um, it's, it's not the sort of conditions where you can easily do a boat-to-boat -boat transfer. Uh, extremely dangerous. And as it proved, it was equally as dangerous to actually try to winch them by helicopter, which was attempted uh, later on. Uh, and then the, the pilot had to adapt and we ended up asking the individual crew members to actually go into the water in order to winch them into the aircraft. They were wearing survival suits and life jackets, but obviously in the dark and in those conditions, um, the options were, were all extremely dangerous, but this was the safest option that uh, we had available to us. Normally in these conditions, depending on the size of the vessel, you would expect them to hold two in these conditions. Basically that means just holding your position in the sea without uh, making too much headway. But there's always the risk that large waves will come over, as in this case, and basically stove the bridge windows in, which exposed all the electrics and the controls of the vessel and, uh, and basically immobilised it. The crew actually came out remarkably unscathed, or at least um, five out of the six. That uh, They're all being cared for now in, in Newlin. However, the skipper did uh, receive some nasty lacerations with a broken glass in the initial incident, uh, which he was treated for in hospital.